If you've been developing software for some time, then you know one of the most tedious parts of onboarding to a new project is setting up your development environment. There's the IDEs you need to install, software packages to download, local databases to set up and seed, secrets to access, and a bunch of other little things that add up. It's time consuming, a little frustrating, and honestly, it's a barrier to getting started quickly. But what if you could have a development environment up and running for a new project in less than three minutes? Well, that's exactly what Gitpod promises to do. And no, this isn't an ad. I just came across Gitpod, thought it was interesting and decided to check it out. Gitpod is a zero trust platform that provides automated standardized development environments, making it easier and faster to start coding on projects. Here's how it works. You don't have to install a bunch of tools manually or configure everything from scratch. Instead, you run Gitpod in your preferred environment. It could be on the cloud, on premises, or even on your local machine. From the Gitpod console, you can create a development environment directly from a GitHub repository. Gitpod will then clone the repo into a dev container, which will run in your chosen environment. Most of the magic happens within a dev container.json file in the repository. This file defines everything your project needs, dependencies, tools, configurations, and more, but it goes beyond that. You can also automate common setup tasks like seeding a database, loading secrets, or running specific scripts. Once the environment is ready, you can connect to it via SSH or directly from your code editor. Gitpod currently supports VS Code, JetBrains, Cursor, and Zed. And here's where it gets even better. Once you've configured your dev container exactly how you like it, you can commit those configurations to the repository. The next time you or a team member needs to work on that project, you can spin up the exact same environment in seconds with no setup required. It's kind of like using a dev box, but with less overhead and much lower cost, especially for hobbyists and solo developers. I tried it out myself and honestly, it's pretty solid. I'll definitely be using it for some of my projects in the future. Again, not an ad. I just thought it was cool and worth sharing. Would you try Gitpod? Let me know in the comments below. As always, follow Uma Codes for more programming videos like this.